house hi what's going on guys welcome back to another video on this channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you could make yourself this dancing lights like so at home let's talk about what you will need first of all you will need leds of multiple colors like this there must be 12 or less for this to work right here i've got 12 you would also need 12 or at least the number of leds you have that number of 120 ohm resistors like this a breadboard like this one is recommended although not necessary and again you would need the number of uh, wires jumper wires like this one mail to mail as the number of leds you have so right here i've got 12 and also you would need the arduino uno well not uh, arduino uno but you would need an arduino of some sort it can be the mega or the mini as well and a way to connect it to your computer. Right here, I have connected it using the USB cable. Now, let's talk about the assembly. You would basically just, what you have to do is take these LEDs, place them like this, making sure that the la long side of the uh, LED, like this long side is on one side. So, like, for example, you could do that the, all of these long sides are on the left. In, uh, or you and the short sides are in the light right now or uh, you don't have to place this in perfect order they could be of any color uh, as you want just make sure that there is not too many there is not too many LEDs of the same color close to each other and uh, so yeah let's get right into it hmm. so now that I have got all of the LEDs in a line like this as you could see now let's talk about connecting this to the Arduino First of all, you have to take a resistor like this, bend it on both ends so it forms a bit of a U shape and then just connect it to the long side of the LED to a power rail like this one. So these are power rails. So these are power rails and then you just got to have to connect using this to from the and long side to work, a power in tools so do that just for all of the leds you have i'll do so, so and then i'll see right here okay so now that's done you just and like on. this as you can and see if that doesn't work just all of the resistors either do are this one or this one or this one it should work now otherwise talk about the wiring so first of all what you have to do is just connect one to this side as um, they are if that doesn't work rules. just do now yeah, on a breadboard like this, this one, one or there's this two one separate power one. sections will work so i have to link this as this these should work couple leds are on this then, one yeah so i'm just it. linking just them up, using this one right here and now and then, first of this, all what you have to do is you have to connect another wire to the same rail so there's two you have to connect it to the negative rail here and then connect it to the ground pin on the arduino itself like so and then you have one what you have will have to do is you just have to connect a wire to each of the short pins of the leds like so for do the same for all of the leds and then i will also do so and see you later okay so now that that's done you want to take each wire like this and then connect it to the arduino going from two and above so use the digital pin rail not the analog in or power rail okay and then you just want to take each connector wire sorry and then just put them in each of these connectors like so and the last one is in like so now once you are done it should look a bit like this as you can see here all of the leds are here connected to ground using the resistors and then the shorter sides are going to the Arduino. Now let's talk about the code. So okay so now we are in the code. This is in fact the code right here as you could see. Now I will leave a I will leave a dot exe file down in the description with this code and the schematic you would need for making something like this at home. So first of all let's talk about how you could make this work with less LEDs or if you have uh, Arduino Mega, more LEDs. So basically now right here, you could see these are the, all of the pins that the LEDs are connected to. So if you have, for example, only like five LEDs, just keep five of these and then remove the rest. Same for here. Now make sure all of the pins are in output. Otherwise, this will not work. 
and then right here this is in fact the dancing part of this so you could see here there is no real like you know there is no real um you could see here these are not organized right here you could see a and then f and then again so now what you have to do is just make sure that you have to do digital right high you have to set a no delay so these are for example 100 is going to be uh, one tenth of a second uh, and then low so high will make this go on and it will stay on for one tenth of the second and go off uh, so for example a pin that is going to be the first pin first led is going to go on and then after nine seconds off and then f so so and so going right down here you could add more if you wanted to to make it uh, i mean the repeat it will now because this is in wide loop it will keep on repeating itself so you could add more here to make it go longer without repeating itself so yeah now if you go ahead and click verify just make sure that everything is correct and there is no errors in the sketch like so and then just upload it and then just up click this button right here this upload button to upload it to your arduino and it's going to be how it would show up right here this is going to be it using this code um now you could again as i said if you replace some of these some of these and numbers and change it it will obviously be a bit different than this one but if you just copy paste this code into here it will be like so so thanks for watching guys please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell so you uh, hit that bell so you are notified when i upload a brand new video using arduinos and yeah leave a comment down below about what you want to see next and i'll see you guys next time bye